collectors, gift givers, and fab some besties. I'm Toya, an adult doll collector, which means I'm an adult who likes toys. I consider myself a toy enthusiast. In a recent video, we took a look at the Barbie townhouse and the Malibu house. There were things I liked about both of them, and some of them not so much. So today, we're gonna give them a little makeover. I liked the kitchen on the Malibu house, so we are going to separate it from the rest of the house. Once assembled, these pieces do not like being removed. There is a possibility that you may break and destroy the entire house. You have been warned. All right, let's remove this. And it can stand on its own, so that's awesome. I've set up the townhouse, and we're gonna just put the Malibu house right next to it. Oh wow, I didn't know this side could fold back. Now we have a pretty large house with two bedrooms, the bathroom that I liked, and the kitchen I liked that we can decorate. When it comes to decorating brand dollhouses, I personally don't like making permanent changes. I want the option of being able to go back to the factory look. Because who knows how I will feel five, 10 years from now. I may wanna give this house away and the new owner might appreciate having the original look. Or I might change my mind and just want everything back how it was. So we're gonna work with what we got. Think of it as decorating for renters. First thing we have to do is pop out all of the inserts. Some are easier than others. We are left with pink and white walls. I wish all the walls were white, but since I'm not willing to paint it, we have to work with it. I have pink poster board. The color is pretty close. Take the cutouts, place them onto the poster board, and trace around them. Cut them out, place them back in the wall to remove the printed background and make it more neutral without using printables or scrapbook paper. It's an inexpensive, easy solution and you can look at different colored cardstock to try to get a closer match. If you're okay with printables and scrapbook paper, then we can cover the poster board with paper for a little texture. Now that we have a pattern, we can make different ones and switch them out depending on how we feel that day. It's kind of like removable wallpaper, so we can get a little crazy with it because we know that we can change it whenever we want. For the bathroom, I'm using white poster board and I cover it with our subway tile printable. Ever since we did the Encanto kitchen, I've been wanting to try something. Well, I tried it out a little bit, but that kitchen was way too big, so I stopped. However, this is a nice size. I'm using my hot glue gun to add some dimension to the tiles. I'm just gonna go back and forth, filling it in, trying not to hit the lines. Skip to another section that's nowhere near the one we just did and repeat. I found that if you do them too close while the glue is still wet, they'll just merge together and become one giant glob. This does take a little bit of practice, but you can see it, right? I don't know, is this even worth it? I ended up with a lot of air bubbles. I don't know, I do like the texture. I just might need some practice, but it doesn't look half bad in this space. On the bottom floor, I'm going with a simple white wall and I did an outside look for the other side. Let's remove the refrigerator door and the shelves, stack and glue together layers of poster board to make new shelves, turning the refrigerator into a shelving unit. I'm not loving the way this support wall interrupts the front door, so Cut one inch strips of foam board, glue them together to make a support beam. We can easily remove this one by pulling out this little pole thing. There we go. Then remove this wall and place the new support beam underneath. Allowing this space to stay open and now the door is not blocked. Repeat for the other side to open up that space. They might move around a little, so I cut a piece of foam board that will fit in that space. 
I cover it with contact paper or scrapbook paper or printables. Any of those would work. Cut a hole in the floor to fit the column, helping the support beam to stay in place and it's removable. I put a piece of white poster board in the center to cover that gap. I cut a piece of poster board to fit the kitchen floor. I cut a three quarter inch strip to glue around the edge, cover with contact paper, remove the refrigerator and stove, lay down the new floor over the purple one, then put the appliances back in to help hide that bright purple floor. You know, a house with a neutral color palette would make things easier. Just saying. This floor is starting to look pretty good. I am going to remove this chair. Even though I do like it, it's gotta go. On the top floor, let's remove this bed. Cut a piece of poster board to extend the floor. Since this little piece of flooring is lower than the rest, I use scraps of foam board to level it. Cover with contact paper to extend this room. Now we can fit one of the beds from the Barbie Big City Big Dreams playset in this room. In the bathroom, let's remove the toilet and the sink. Lay down poster board covered with contact paper to change the floor. Let's add a real mirror so it actually works. I remove the mirror from the Ken bathroom playset. Let's put that in front. Let's put a laundry basket from one of our toilet paper roll crafts videos underneath to cover the cabinets in the back. Add socks for towels. We just cut them into little squares and folded them. Let's add the toilet from the Malibu house. This one is a little larger and a bathtub. This one is from a few years back. I like the feet. We could also go with this one, but this one already has the faucet attached. So we're going with that. Giving us a chill bathroom while still using Barbie products. In the bedroom, of course, we have to change the floor. And you know that Barbie bed that I really like? We can place it on top, allowing us to move where the head of the bed is, give us a headboard, and now the molded bed looks like a bed skirt. Let's add some bedding. I'm using fabric pillows. Sorry, I couldn't resist. Let's place one of the Barbie TV stands on the side as a nightstand. I added a little lamp, plant, and a book. In the other room, let's do a similar setup. This time we're using a bed from the Barbie Big City Big Dreams playset. I add a little Barbie bedding and a few pillows. I know it's a lot of pillows, but I needed to cover up the brackets in the wall. Let's add the coffee table that came with the townhouse as a nightstand. Add a few plants like our paper house plants. Add the lights from the Barbie It Takes Two tent. I would like to cover that seam there. Maybe we can take a scrap of foam board, glue fabric onto it, wrapping it around the edges, making sure there are folds in it. I attach it to the wall with a little bit of putty to look like curtains and cover up some of the joints of the house. I placed curtains on the sides of the closet, on the other side of this window, and I think it's just helping to soften this space. On the bottom floor, I added more curtains. I wanted to use the orange couch from the Barbie Big City Big Dreams playset because I love the design. However, I don't know. I think we should go ahead and play into the pink. I mean, Barbie loves pink. We have a lot of pink stuff. It'd be great if we can just, you know, use it. So we have the pink couch from the Malibu house and I'm gonna add a rug. It's just a cut piece of felt and we're gonna add another pink chair right here in front of this window. I have a fireplace from a Barbie dream house. I'm gonna place it at a little bit of an angle and place a TV on top. I couldn't find a better coffee table, so I stole this one from the bedroom upstairs and replaced it with another TV stand. Let's bring in some of our artificial plants and some pillows to give us a cozy little living room. On the other side of the fireplace, I go ahead and add the piano because I love that piece. 
add some art to the wall, and fill the bookcase with books. I angled the piano just so we can see it, added a few more plants to complete our entryway. I place a table and chair set right in the front. The table is from the townhouse. This vase I got a long time ago, don't remember where it's from. I added some artificial plants and I'm using two matching pink chairs. These chairs are from the Barbie Glam getaway playset. I found it on clearance for $11, so I bought two and that's how I was able to get two matching chairs because the playset comes with in two different colored chairs. Set the table so the dolls have a place to eat. On this wall, let's add the Barbie desk and a stool. This is from the Hello Barbie Dreamhouse. Add some accessories to make an office space for the dolls. Overall, I think this came out pretty cute. We decorated our Barbie house without making any permanent changes combined parts of two different houses to create a larger living area, remodeled a bathroom, set up two bedrooms with comfy cozy beds, and we can change out the wallpaper whenever we like. I love collecting Barbie play sets, but sometimes I have a difficult time figuring out how it all goes together. So this was a lot of fun and a lot of pink. These two rooms right here are totally my favorites. Thank you for joining us while we decorated our Barbie house using Barbie play sets. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to ring the bell and follow us on Instagram at MyFroggyStuff, the Frog Vlog, and Bella of My Froggy Stuff. And we will see you next time. Bye!